Hello, good hungry people. Today you'll be in the kitchen with OB's Tasteful Takeout. And today we're cooking to alarm chili. Kit, one of my favorite kits to make chili with. You have to try it. If not, you can, you know, use your own seasonings. But I prefer to use it. It's quick, easy, and it tastes good. So let me show you what I got. Uh, we got a uh, two alarm chili kit, which as I said, my favorite. You got to try it. And uh, it comes with uh, some seasonings. There's one season I really don't use, but you can see it for yourself. It's red pepper, uh, corn, moussa flour, uh, cooning, oregano, uh, chili peppers, uh, cooning garlic powder, paprika, whatever you prefer, which package. They come in separate packages, so you know if you decide not to use one of them or, or not. I used all of them besides the moussa flour. Um, and you got your pinto beans. You can, uh, I use just the regular pinto beans. Um, and uh, you can use black beans, red beans, whatever you prefer to put in your chili. And I had the um, diced tomatoes and green chili, so I use that mild. You can use hot if you want, if you like, if you want to spice it up, you can. And uh, what I put in my ground beef, I put uh, sea salt, pink sea salt, as you can see, a big tall bottle, right? Uh, a little bit of garlic, more garlic, I love garlic powder. Uh, uh oh, you got your um, black pepper uh, and ground paprika. That's what I use to season my ground beef. Whatever you prefer as a seasoning, you can do, do so. And over here, I got my onions and uh, green bell peppers, what I usually use. Uh, you can dice you can, uh, some garlic up if you want to, but I prefer not to. Um, I just use the powder. It's quick and easy. And uh, let's get our ground beef on and let's get started, good folks. Cut it up a little bit so that way we can get evenly done. You know, you don't want too many big chunks. I like to, I prefer the big chunks sometimes, but you know, I like to stretch it out. You know, whatever you prefer to do it. Let me turn on my stove. About um maybe a medium to medium high, you know. And make sure that's diced up pretty good in there, so that way you get it going in there. Okay, go over here. And I'm bringing you here. You can slide over. This is your pencil You know, I'll be washing hands after dinner with me. Sanitary. Take on. I prefer. Come over here, bro. I prefer. A lot of people don't usually do this, but I do. Some people do. Some people don't. Usually I cook my onions and bell peppers along with my ground beef. So. He said, why is there a lot of onions? Yeah, I, I might use half of them. Half of them I might just use to when I get after the chili is done, sprinkle a little bit of onions on there. I'm not going to use all of them. Just a little bit. I know some look like a little bigger chunks, but you know, I guess. There it go. And I usually just drop all the, the green bell peppers in there. Just let it all cook together. That way your, your, your um, onions and your green bell peppers uh be soft marinates right into your into your um your meat let me get a little bit more right there okay put that to the side follow me bird follow me yes, follow me with the camera okay put the seasoning put on the on the ground beef full seasoning on there when I cook with it first I'm gonna put my my salt Excuse me, get this. Usually I should have my utensils set out here, but I don't. Okay. Um, okay. Stir that around us. Mix it up. Chop it up. Mix it up before you even put your seasoning in. Mix your onions and get right over there. Yeah. All right. Mix your onions and uh, your stuff in your meat a little bit. Put this to the side. Put that to the side. Get my sea salt. Get a couple spins. It don't hurt to put a little bit in there, you know. It don't hurt to put a little, not too much, but just enough. And you get your black pepper. Brown black pepper. Put a sprinkle a little bit, not too much. That's a little bit. It's going to, that's a little, however you want. Prefer you want a little spice you can. Part of powder. 
Drink a little bit. Don't be shy with the seasoning now. It's not going to hurt. A little bit. There you go. Here I got to put a little uh, brown paprika in there. Drink a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Turn it. I like to, I like to mix it in there. Mix my seasoning in there. That way I can get it in there good. Put your onions and your green pepper. When I tell you this is going to be some chili out this world, it's going to be really good. When it's done, I'm going to go back. Bring a just a little bit, just a little bit. Hey, 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 man, that's a lot of salt, but no. It's because when you guys start adding the water and tomato and stuff like that, it's going to um, saturate your seasoning. So I like to kind of double up on my seasonings on a little bit. Let me get some more garlic powder. A little bit more garlic powder. There you go. A little bit more. Just a little bit of ground, a little bit more ground pepper. Just a little bit, not too much, just a couple, about a teaspoon. All right, put so a little bit more. Just paprika in there. Come on. Act like this little stuff on me right there. All right, so that's done. Just mix it around and get this done, and uh, we'll be back in. We'll drain the, the grease off and everything. I like to drain the grease off so it won't be so, so much grease. And uh, we'll be back. Back. Uh, as you can see, I drained some of my um, grease off my ground beef. So it's about ready to go. So we're going to add the pinto beans. That way, reason why I say I'm going to add the pinto beans with it, because that way when I put my seasoning and stuff on top of it, it will season the beans as well. So we drop the beans in there. Give it a little push. Give me a spoon. Should have had this already out, but hey, it's, it's accessible. All right. The rest of that out of there. Like I said, you can either use pinto, uh, black beans, red beans, whatever you prefer, you know. So mix that in a little bit. Mix it in pretty good. Mix the beans in with it. Okay. Now... We're going to start with our, um, we're going to go ahead and drop this um, garlic powder and uh, onions mixed together. We're going to go ahead. I know I got onions already in there, but, you know, it don't hurt to, to give it that flavor. You know, drop it in there. You don't have to use all of it, but I prefer to dump it all in there. All right. Okay, we mix that around. There we go. So we get get it incorporated with the with the pinto beans, everything. Yeah, I got it on a uh, little below uh, medium, so that way it can sear a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna dump my um, cumin and oregano. Get that a little slice right there, and we're just gonna drop it in. You know, there we go. Let's drop it in there like that. Don't be shy. It's gonna all incorporate. All right, get that in there. And this is the paprika. I, I know I put paprika in there before, but I'm gonna put some more in there just to get some coloring. Just to get a little bit more coloring. Just not not too much. Just a little bit. A little bit more in there. So wow, it's looking a little dry. It's just cool. I'm just incorporating it with the beans, so that way it can have flavor too. Mix it around a little bit. Okay. Then I'm gonna add my tomato sauce before I add my chip powder. I will put some red pepper, but it's going to be spicy. It depends on how much chili powder you put in there because the chili powder is already spicy. So if you prefer to make it a little spicy, you can use the red pepper. But me, no. It's going to be a little already hot. So I'm going to incorporate the can of diced tomatoes, green chilies. Dude, I put, I like mine a little. I like a lot of tomatoes. So, you know, if you want to use one can, you can. But I, I like two cans. All right, we're gonna mix that, incorporate that in there with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're gonna eat that and say, good night. <laughs> what that means, that means, wow, fantastic, good night. <laughs> yeah, we mixing that around, see how pretty that is, the coloring. Yeah, okay, now, let me throw this in the trash. I don't wanna feel like a mess bug. Uh, put this in the trash. 
Let me get going here. Okay, we got all. Let me make sure that all that's in. Now you can't you get all that out of there. And then put one cup of water. You can use probably two cup of water, but it depends on how how thick or soupy you want it. So let me go out here and get a cup of water. Pour a little water in there. That way, when I put my chili powder in there, yeah, just just a little bit, usually about a half or maybe a full cup, depending. You mix that around, incorporate it in there. Yes, yes, sir. They say, good night, your chili is so good, good night. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, then get ready to add our chili powder. Let me cut it on the right end, it don't matter. We just cut it in one of these corners. It's gonna go in there in the same way. All right, up in there. You just wanna put a, put a little bit of half in there first and, and mix it around, mix it around. Let me put this to the side, and put this, these two things. I don't wanna look messy around. Okay. Like that done. Alright. Mix it. Stir it out. Give it a good stir. Yeah, don't be scared to just stir it around. Get it in there. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I might add another half a cup. And it just depends. If I want it a little, little soupy. Some people like their stick. Alright. And I also, I'm going to give it a taste and see where I'm at with the uh, chili powder just to see if I need a little bit more. I know I just used a half, but sometimes you might need a little bit more. Let me get a, grab a spoon here. Taste spoon right here. It's a plastic one, but let's see what it got. Let's see what it do right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's coming along. It's really coming along. If you can taste this right now, man. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more chili powder, a little bit more to give it. I, I, I still need that spice. I still need a little spice in it, you know, to give it that good flame and chili taste, that good old country, old fashioned chili taste. Yeah, like they used to cook back in the day. Yes, sir. All right. And we're back. It's done. And I'm going to show y'all one other thing you can do that even and give it a boom, boom. A good night. I'm going to uh, get a tablespoon of sugar. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I prefer it. Because it gives you that, it's, it, it sparks that tomato sauce, the tomato chive, you know, chopped tomatoes and all that. It spices it. I mean, it gives us that little, that little, hmm. Yeah, we're going to just put a little bit sprinkle around in there. All right, you got that. Yeah, so it's about ready to go. Um, I'm going to stir this around, incorporate a little bit more that sugar. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. That's all you have to do. Usually, but I know y'all eager to see what it tastes like, and I know y'all want to taste it too. And uh. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna get a bowl here, and we're gonna put a little toppings on it and, and, and give it a try. All right, we got it all nicely set up. Um, uh, we bring this over here. This way we can. Um, I don't want to put that on the stove. Uh, yes, and I I should have went on to put the whole thing in there, but it, it was a little spicy, so I just. Kept it, you know, just put it back in the chili powder. If you if you got access, you can just if you got an open container, one that's almost halfway empty, you can just pour the rest of the chili powder in there. Okay, we got it um on low. We're gonna give this a test. Yes, yes, get put a little bit in there like that. Yes. Yeah, a little bit more. Yes. There we go. Alright, let me put this in there. Throw that right there. Okay. I'm gonna get a little bit of cheese sprinkle a little cheese on there I don't want to make a big mess yeah there we go yeah that's how I like to eat no oh, you talking about good eating cool and nice they say man yes indeed okay I'm put a little onions on there like that I, matter of fact I'm gonna give y'all the first bite 
I'm gonna give y'all the first bite. All right, where's my um? Okay, let's see. I got. I use one of those where these spoons. I was gonna use that one, but you know, people got to dig in. All right, let's give it the first try. Oh yes, see that onions and cheese. Man, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all the first bite. I'm gonna give y'all the first bite. See how it's that steam rolling out, that cheese just dripping on there. Ooh, wait. Let me get the first bite. Um, as they say, good night. Oh man, you taste that crack of it? Mmm, one more bite. I'm gonna one, I'm gonna one more bite before I take another one. Mmm, oh yes, sir, she has. Mmm, 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 Oh yes, that's the best chili I done had in a long time. I know it ain't the season. It got me sweating over here, as you see. And um, hope y'all enjoy the show. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like. Ob Tasteful Takeouts. Thank you.